Vegans are often stereotyped as weak, skinny hippies who love to shove their views down other people's throats. To be fair, I am a bit of a hippie. And as somebody who's never eaten meat and vegan for the last eight years, I can say that the skinny part isn't true. At least not for me. Many people have conflicting opinions about whether or not a vegan diet is actually healthy or is the lack of quality protein and nutrients found in animal products actually detrimental to your health. So many people think you need to eat meat in order to survive, but as somebody who's never eaten meat before in their life, one thing I know for sure is that I'm still alive. Wait, am I alive? Is this a simulation? <laughs> anyway. And as for whether or not you can build muscle or be a successful bodybuilder, you definitely can. However, if you're somebody who is curious about trying veganism, then I think it's important to know about some of the biggest misconceptions about it. The first of which is that there is a big difference between what people think veganism is versus what it actually is. So most people have a very limited understanding of what veganism actually is. By definition, it's the practice of not eating any animals or using their byproducts to the best of one's ability. And unfortunately, like any ism, it's the people in the group that are most extreme that end up becoming the misrepresentation of that entire group. But the truth is, you might have more in common with vegans than you might think. So vegans care about their health, their loved ones, animals, and the environment that they live in. They strive to become a better version of themselves and simultaneously help make the world a better place. So they deeply feel empathy whenever they witness oppression, suffering, and injustices. Their empathy and compassion extends beyond humans and includes animals and the environment and is an actionable way to try to reduce the amount of suffering and damage in the world they simply choose not to eat animals or support industries that perpetuate the suffering exploitation and damage of the environment okay look i don't want to sit here and make a blanket statement that i think everybody should be vegan i think there are many people in the world that don't have the means the accessibility or the information but for those of us that do have these luxuries we also have the luxury of choice. Vegans are simply trying to bring awareness to the fact that if you have the access, the means, and the information, then you do have a choice. And every choice that we make and every dollar that we spend is a vote for the kind of world that we want to live in. Vegans simply want to choose a world that chooses compassion over violence, harmony over destruction, and peace over suffering. And if you feel like that's the kind of world that you want to live in, then you might have more in common with vegans than you think. So the next biggest concern is whether or not veganism is sustainable. And as I mentioned before, I was born and raised vegetarian. I've never eaten meat, vegan the last eight years. And if I can do it, you can probably do it too. I am not an anomaly. There are thousands of examples of people who are thriving on a vegan diet and even professional athletes too. And if you don't believe me, check out a movie called The Game Changers. You might even see a familiar face. Now, I could sit here and try to reference a bunch of scientific papers to prove to you that you can thrive on a vegan diet, but let's be honest, there are plenty of scientists who are much more capable of doing that than me, and I would probably only leave you feeling more confused because as soon as you open up Instagram, you're gonna see other people quoting studies that say otherwise. All right, so how do you know whether or not something is possible or not, or what to believe? Well, you're gonna have to try it for yourself. You simply, don't know what you don't know until you try something and don't just blindly believe what people say online and adopt it as truth if you have an open mind and are willing to try something new you might just access higher levels of mental physical and even spiritual well-being that you didn't know were possible because you've been so acclimated to your everyday experience the key like anything is to do it properly and I'm sure you've heard, seen, or known somebody who was vegan at one point and then stopped because they said it either wasn't feeling well or that it wasn't providing enough nutrition to facilitate their fitness goals. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It's not the vegan diet that didn't work. It was their vegan diet that didn't work or their conviction. And I'll address the biggest mistakes that people make when they attempt to go vegan in my next video. But for now, let me talk about the biggest misconception of all. Look, I get it. Salads suck, and I don't like eating them either. I like eating pizza, tacos, burritos, bowls, sushi, just like everybody else, except the vegan version of it. And the truth is, you don't have to only eat salads. There is so many vegan options these days that are not only nutritious, but also really tasty. In fact, I actually have a few videos explaining exactly how I eat right here.
Many people struggle with the idea that they have to give up their favorite foods or even aspects of their culture when they go vegan. But as somebody who's traveled all over the world, I can honestly say that I have yet to find a place that I have struggled to be vegan. In fact, some parts of the world have even more vegan options than we do here. And you might actually be surprised to find out that there are many more vegan options around you that you were just unaware of because you weren't looking for them. You can try to use the app Happy Cow and it will actually tell you what vegan restaurants or vegan items on menus are nearby. And in regards to it being more expensive, it really just depends on the person and the kind of lifestyle that you live. If you're going out and eating at restaurants every single day and buying expensive specialty items, then of course, yeah, it's gonna be expensive. But if you prepare your food at home and focus on less processed foods, it can actually be way more affordable than a traditional diet. In fact, an Oxford study actually took a look at this and determined that a vegan diet was the most affordable diet next to a vegetarian diet. There are a ton of other misconceptions that I could talk about, but I don't want you to think that I'm trying to convince you to do something that you don't want to do. I'm just simply trying to bring awareness to the fact that if you want to be vegan, and if you are curious about it, and it feels like something that's aligned with your morals and the way that you want to live your life, then you absolutely can thrive on a vegan diet. All you have to do is just try it for yourself, and even if you don't end up being vegan for life and just eat a little bit more plants and a little bit less animals, then that is progress. And for those that need additional support and want to take it even further, then I am a coach and I do offer support in helping people reach their health and fitness goals. All you have to do is click the application down in the description and I can get you set up. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can see future videos where I break down how to live a healthy vegan lifestyle. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.